the Labour Party, elected in 2005, promising us a referendum on the Constitutional Treaty and then denying it to us. And when I challenged Mr Brown, as you just saw a few moments ago on this point, he didn't even have the courage to respond to me. He just sat there, didn't he? Like a grinning idiot. <laughs> I've no doubt somebody will ask me to apologise for that comment, but in Jeremy Clarkson mode, I shan't. <laughs> and what about? And what about the Liberal Democrats? Here we are in the West Country where they're very strong. The Liberal Democrats were elected in 2005 with a specific manifesto pledge saying they would vote in the Commons and the Lords to give the British people a referendum on that constitutional treaty and they too voted against there being that referendum. And now we see Graham Watson, the Lib Dem leader in the European Parliament, calling loudly and clearly on that day when Brown was in Strasbourg for Britain to join the Euro immediately. So the Lib Dems aren't listening to anybody. And then, of course, we have Her Majesty's loyal opposition. Although I suggest that you need a fairly strong magnifying glass to work out what the differences in policy are between them, them and the Labour Party on virtually everything. The fact is that the Conservative Party under Cameron is utterly committed to membership of the European Union. To find out more about who we are and what we stand for, go to the UK Independence Party website at www.ukip.org.